part of me look, knows that that Mume is happy with Crony. And how can I take away her happiness? You know? <laughs> I'm very conflicted. <laughs> I do wish that Mume would come to me where it's safe and I will never hurt her. Just keep her safely locked away for all of time where no one can hurt her this way this way <laughs> just one please what are these noises <gasps> the fox farm this is inhumane <laughs> give them a loving home this is inhumane <laughs> oh my goodness this is <laughs> We need to free the foxes. <laughs> we'll have to put that in our list of demands. Your fox farm, the living conditions of the foxes are simply horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. The black sheep likes to hang out with the Enderman. That's pretty cute. <laughs> okay. I'm not riding GG, by the way. I already regret riding that. <laughs> regret writing that that was that was too cool <laughs> okay let's read it over again really fast to make sure it's all good fauna is green crony is blue i won't be mean if you'll be nice too please accept this peace treaty from me unto you on the condition that the following demands are met Mume's independence. My associates and I have been increasingly concerned with the insidious exploitation of Nanashi Mume. While she may not overtly dispute the working conditions of Bunkroni, she deserves the freedom to spread her wings and work with dignity and respect. <laughs> the saplings, piglins, and I, Fauna, demand that you promise not to employ Mume under the same working conditions that you employed all of us. Demand number two, rights of piglins. Piglins, or as you call them, ex-employees, have not received proper severance pay. Further, they are mistreated and even subjected to violence in the nether. The nether belongs to the piglins, netheroni. Ah! Almost spilled my tea. Is this karma? Okay, piglins have the freedom to come and go as they please in the nether. We demand that you cease corporeal punishment against piglins. Further, we demand compensation for all ex netheroni employees who were wrongfully terminated. Demand for adequate pay for all current and future bunkroni employees. Bunkroni employees have long been underpaid, paid only in the supplies needed to compensate to complete their work. I mean, diamond pickaxes. We demand that all bunkroni employees, present and future, are fairly compensated at an hourly rate agreed upon by the employee. <laughs> I don't think it should be corporal. I mean corporeal, like bodily. Bodily punishment, though. <laughs> don't I mean bodily punishment? <laughs> Additionally, all employees will receive paid time off and overtime pay with daily one hour lunch break and free berries. <laughs> Isn't incorporeal ghostly? I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> fox welfare. Upon inspection by our animal experts, we determined that the foxes near base do not have adequate living condition. Foxes are friends, and we demand that they are treated as such. Foxes must be given a larger enclosure of four grass and blocks per fox. They must have access to a pond, berry bushes, and natural light. Break room accommodations. The provided break room bench is too hot. We demand a bench at a comfortable temperature. We demand a bunch of comfortable temperatures provided in the employee break area. Further, milk and cookies must be available at all times of the break area free to employees. If these demands are met, we have no doubt that server-wide peace and prosperity can be achieved. Please take good care of these four sheep. They will provide lots of wool if taken proper care of. Regards, Fauna, Penguins, and Saplings, Squeeb. <laughs> I don't want to say five sheep. Four is enough. Four is enough. <laughs> You're right, it should be if properly taken care of. You're right, you're right. Properly taken care of. Ooh, done? 
Should I sign it? Are we ready? <laughs> I don't need a number, that way I'm not lying. You're right, good idea. Cannot be caught in a lie. <laughs> Take good care of these sheep. They will provide lots of wood properly taken care of. Sign it? All right, I'll sign it. Oh, and her book title. Oh. Peace. Treaty. <laughs> it cannot have been... It can't be so long. <laughs> it says 54. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we're good. It took us like an hour to write that. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think. <laughs> I think we're good. Now I'll put a sign. I don't know where to put it. I guess right here is fine. Mm. Is this suspicious? Not dangerous. <laughs> It's perfectly suspicious. <laughs> it's perfectly suspicious. <laughs> it's good, right? This is good. <laughs> okay. Should make a copy? Do I need to? So that we have... I guess we should. Do you think she has... Ink anywhere? Can I borrow an ink anywhere? I'm not sure if she has any. <laughs> oh, she does! Okay, this should be fine. Just borrow one ink. I mean... We don't have peace yet. Oh, this is so sad while well, I've been standing here. I've unknowingly been, um... <laughs> contributing to the chicken farm. Oh, it works. Okay. We'll give her the original one. She won't even notice the one ink is gone. Look, we're giving her so many diamonds. I think it's a fair trade. <laughs> And so many flowers! <laughs> Put a pressure plate to make it look more sus. No! This is already very suspicious, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs>